Hey, check this out. Well, not my car. I'm gonna spin around here. Check that out. I'm at Dinosaur National Monument. There are two entrances to Dinosaur National Monument. The first one that I came in uh, starts in Colorado outside the town of Dinosaur, and there's a really nice visitor center in the town of Dinosaur. It's about a half hour to get to where I'm at. Harper's Corner is the end of the path. Uh, there's a little camper out here, uh, and then there's a camp, uh, sorry, a canyon overlook, and this is the canyon. I'm going to go back to the canyon overlook real quick because um, I passed it on the way in. <laughs> I was going too fast. The other entrance, so I'm actually standing in Utah in the other entrance of the park where all the fossils and uh, hiking trails and things like that are uh, the entrances over in Utah. So I'm going to try to quickly get over there before they close at 5 o'clock. But the weather is just perfect. It is really just so beautiful here right now. The smell is fantastic. It is, we're just the end of October, so we have some fall coloring. You hear that? It is super quiet out here. Now, everything we look at, from my understanding, I'll read more, that was all ocean. <laughs> Great stuff out here. God, I love the West. All right, I made it over to the Canyon Overlook. A uh, quick summary of what happened here. The Yama River and the Green Rivers both go through and have cut out these canyons. And uh, 150 million years ago during the Jurassic period, the river, there was a big drought. Uh, dinosaurs died. When the drought ended, the bones were carried by the rivers down in this area. And on the other side, so I'm back in Colorado now, where I was before was on the other bank over there on that ledge looking this way, which is best I can tell that is east and I'm now looking north. And so this is one of the richest fossil beds in the country, if not the world. There are, uh, I think, 10 different very well preserved specimens the sandstone is what the rock is made out of. Uh, quickly, there are 23 different strata layers you can see by color. The strataing, uh, the, I mean, just the color variations, it, it's so awesome to see. And behind me is, is, you know, the flat Utah and the canyon, canyon lands, Moab River, all that great stuff, all the way into Provo and then up to Salt Lake which is where I'm going later on today. This is one of the least visited areas. It's certainly like the least visited area in, in Colorado. I know that just by driving on the roads. There was just no other cars out here. Um, so, you know, get out here. <laughs> I'm gonna race over to the Utah entrance where the fossils are more prevalent and easier found. So I'll see you over